You spend the majority of your life trying to live up to the expectations and aspiring to be like your older brother. And uh, this more than holds true for me, uh, as Dave has had success in multiple areas, including um, an excellent, excellent uh, teaching profession ongoing, and marrying a woman today that will keep him happy for the rest of his life. starting today, uh, I have yet another example to learn from David and Aubrey Welp. Welp does sound better than I believe. <laughs> <laughs> As they begin a new path filled with new experiences down the road. Uh, while many tr trials may arise, I know that you two will prosper and will create another illustration of what I should li live up to. But just simply another expectation for me to handle. Dave, I simply say thank you for everything you've done for me. And Aubrey, I want to thank you for making Dave the happiest man in the world. I, David, take you, Aubrey, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Aubrey, take you, David to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. As the father of the bride, I have the awesome opportunity to welcome you here tonight and also thank you for being here. Your presence really shows your love for Aubrey and David. things that just getting ready for this um, you know historically there are some cultures that have arranged marriages and uh, I can tell you as a father of two daughters I've, I've thought about that quite a bit <laughs> but I've come to realize that Kathy and I could never have picked anybody more perfect and more suitable for Aubrey than David. So David, we know you to be a young man with a lot of positive personal attributes. You've got courage, you've got passion, you've got intelligence, and I can warn you, it's going to take all three of those <laughs> when you get a debate with Aubrey. <laughs> so, but you're a very loyal and compassionate person, and I know you're going to make a very good husband, and I'm very proud to have walked her down the aisle and handed her to you today. Thank you, Tom. Aubrey, three things that your mother and I have always tried to give you. We've always tried to give you faith, wings, and roots. And today, you've grown your wings, ready to go on your own, but you always have roots with your family. Always know that. And always know to keep your faith, and always keep that and be strong as you continue to soar ahead. And when you need it, my lap's always open. So today you came here with two minds, two hearts, two souls, 
And I think it's very fitting that we celebrate now that union of one. May you be blessed with enjoyment and memories of each day together. The fulfillment of all your hopes and dreams for tomorrow. And love, happiness, and peace always. We love you guys. I would like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. David Well.